Hey guys, this video is for counting lesson one, quarter notes. This is for anyone who missed class when we went through this um, exercise together. I'm gonna go through it a little quicker than we did in class, but you can feel free to pause the video, rewind, and um, watch again whenever you um, need a little bit more time to do things. Now, first things first, I want you to go into Google Classroom and go to the assignment that says counting less than one. And then you're gonna open up the PDF attachment. And then you're gonna open that up with Cami. And you should be looking at what I see on my screen right now. You should be looking at on your screen as well. So we're gonna be annotating and typing different information on this page. So you need to make sure to open it with Cami. Now we're gonna start at the top and it says counting lesson one quarter notes. We're gonna be learning about a new symbol in band class called the quarter note. And if you look right here on the left-hand side, right below the blue line, there's a symbol that is on the music staff, and that is a quarter note. It's a filled in note head, and it has a stick hanging out of the bottom of it. We call that stick a stem. So it's a filled in note head with a stem, and that is a quarter note. Now I want you to click on the left-hand side where it says text box, and you can choose your size and your color. I'm gonna stick with black. And then you're gonna click in the yellow box next to the word beat. Now in a minute, we're gonna type how many beats does a quarter note get? So we've got our symbol, it's called a quarter note, and a quarter note gets one beat. So type a one, in the box and it should look like that <coughs> excuse me and if we keep reading to the right we come to another symbol that we've never seen before that's on the music staff it looks kind of like a fancy number three but it is called a quarter blank and it is the opposite of a quarter note a quarter note is one beat of sound and i'll explain what that word beat means in just a second and then this new symbol is a quarter blank. So take your cursor, put it in that next yellow box and click to put a text box. And you're gonna type the word rest, R-E-S-T. So that fancy looking three symbol on the music staff is a quarter rest. The quarter rest gets one beat just like the quarter note. The quarter rest is one beat of silence. A rest is silence and a note is sound. So we have two new symbols that we know now. We're gonna go down towards the middle of the page where you've got this measure of music with the number six next to it. First of all, when we read music, we read left to right, just like we read anything else. So if we start at the number six and read to the right, the first thing we come to is the treble clef. We've been talking a lot about the treble and the bass clef and how they work on the music staff and how there are different rules for the letter names of the lines and spaces in the treble and bass clef. The next thing we see is a number over another number. It's a four over another, another number four. In math class, you might say four over four. But in band class, we just say 4-4, four, four, and that is the time signature. We'll talk more later, more in depth about what a time signature is. But for now, just know that 4-4 four, four time signature means there are four beats in one measure. So that goes back to our definition of a quarter note. It gets one beat and a quarter rest also gets one beat. So if we're in 4-4 four, four time signature, then we can have four of those in one measure or a combination of um, quarter notes and quarter wrists. We can have four of them in one measure in our 4-4 four, four time signature. And that's what you see here. And then you've got your four yellow boxes underneath. And we're gonna be typing how to count each of those in the box. So go ahead and click on the first box. Make your text box pop up. Now, whenever we're reading music, when we're counting in 4-4 four, four time signature, we count one, 
two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Forever and ever. There are only four beats in a measure. So we count to four and then we start over. And then we count to four and then we start over forever and ever. So in this very first symbol, it's a quarter note and it's the very first symbol in the measure um, that gets a beat. So we're going to assign it the number one and I'm going to put one plus. But when we say that out loud, we actually say one and one and you could type the and symbol which is shift and the number seven on your keyboard but i don't like to do that i like putting the plus that works better for my eyes if you want to put one and that's okay but know that when i put plus it means and so our first symbol is a quarter note and it gets assigned one and and then we're going to go to the second yellow box and look at the symbol that's above that box. That is a quarter rest. Quarter rest also gets one beat, but it's one beat of silence. So in order to specify that it is silence, we're going to start with a parentheses, an open parentheses. And to type that on your computer, you hit shift and then the number nine at the same time. And it's going to give you that open parentheses kind of circle thing at the beginning, half circle thing at the beginning. And then this symbol is assigned to and. And then we're going to do a close parentheses, which is shift zero on your computer keyboard. So we have one and two and. Hopefully you're following that so far. It's pretty straightforward. You're just counting with some ands in between. Now we're going to go to the next yellow box, which has a symbol above it, which is our quarter rest. Now we need to figure out, well, what number goes in that box? Well, we just go in order. We had one and two and what comes after two? Three. Very good. We have three and. And it's a note, so no parentheses needed. Let's go to the fourth yellow box, which is under the fourth symbol in the measure and that symbol is a quarter rest so we know we need to type our open parentheses shift nine for our quarter rest and then what number is it going to be assigned what number comes next we have one and two and three and and what number's next what number comes after three four ding 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 so we're going to type four and and then we're going to close up our parentheses with a shift zero. So now we have the, the counts written in for the whole measure. One and two and three and four and. And this right here, that line that goes up and down, that's called a bar line. And that tells you that's the end of the measure. It's not a stop sign. It doesn't mean stop. It just means as soon as you cross this line, you're going to start over again counting at one. So if there was another measure, we would start over one and two and three and four and until we got to another bar line and then we would start over again at one. Now, when we count and clap this rhythm or any rhythm, when we have a note, we clap. When we have a rest, our hands are apart. You don't make any sound and you don't clap. And you have your hands apart so that you are showing us that you know, hey, that's a rest. I don't make any sound on that symbol. So when we count and clap this measure, we do this. One and two and three and four and. Did you follow that? That's pretty easy, right? When you see a note, you clap. When you see a rest, your hands are apart. No big deal. Can you do it with me? Here we go. One and two and three and four and stop. Not bad. Now I want to add something that's going to help us to stay together. Do you hear the clicks? That's called a metronome. Say metronome. Say it again. Metronome. So the metronome is the thing that clicks that helps us keep time. Now I want you to pick your favorite foot, your left foot, 
your right foot, the one you kick the ball with, choose that foot. Keep the heel, the back of the foot on the ground, and I want your toe to move up and down. And whenever you hear the click, your toe hits the ground. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Keep that toe going. That toe is helping us figure out where the beat is. There's that word again, beat. Quarter notes and quarter rest get one beat. What's the beat? The toe tap. Down, up, 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 down, up. That toe needs to go the whole time. So now we've got our metronome, say metronome, and our toe tap. Down, up, down, up down, up, down, up. Now we're gonna count and clap that measure again with our toe tap. I'll do it, you watch and listen and read the music. Follow the music with your eyes, here I go. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. One and two and three and four and stop. Can you do that with me? Tap your toe. Hands are up. Down, up, down, up, here we go. One and two and three and four and stop. Not too bad. If you need to practice that, pause the video, rewind, and do it again. Now, I want to add one more thing. Whenever we have a rest and our hands are apart, I would like for us to change the way we use our voice so that we're making it obvious with our voice that it's a rest. So instead of counting one and two and three and four and, whenever we have a rest, I would like for you to whisper count. So this example would be one and two and three and four and. So say the note in your normal voice. Say the rest in a whisper voice. Oh my gosh, let's put it all together. So we've got our metronome. Is your toe tapping? Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Now let's clap and count using our whisper count when we have a rest. I'll do it one time. You watch and follow along in your music. Here I go. Down, up, down, up, ready, go. One and two and three and four and stop. Hey, that's not too bad. Do it with me. Ready? Down, up, down, up. Here we go. One and two and three and four and stop. Excellent. Do it again. One more time. Down, up, down, up. Here we go. One and two and three and four and stop. Now we're going to move on to line seven. And you're going to notice as we go through this that everything that we write is going to be one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. But it depends on two things. Is it a quarter note? Is it a quarter rest? That what de that's what determines whether we just write one and or we write one and in parentheses and whether or not we clap or don't clap. So it changes for each one, even though the numbers that we write are going to be 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and. So let's click in the first yellow text box. Oops, I forgot I was not using my text box anymore. Let's click on the first yellow text box under line 7. And we already know, because we did it in the last example, that it's going to be 1 and. But we need to look at the symbol. Is the symbol above the yellow box a quarter note or a quarter rest? That decides how we type it. Now, it is a quarter rest. And whenever we have a rest, we have to put the number inside the parentheses to show, hey, this is going to be a silent count, not a sound. So you, you start with your open parentheses, shift 9, and then you type 1 and and then close your parentheses with a shift zero. Quarter rest, one and in the parentheses. Go to the second yellow box. The symbol above the second yellow box is a quarter note, so no parentheses. And what count is it gonna be? Well, we already have one and, what comes after one? 
two, so it's going to be two and. Go to the third yellow box, look at the symbol above the box. We have a quarter rest, so we got to start out with our parentheses. Open parentheses, shift nine, and then what number is it going to be? Well, we have one and two and what comes after two? Three. So we're going to type three and, and then close our parentheses with a shift zero. Go to the fourth yellow box, look at the symbol above the fourth yellow box. We have another quarter note. So no parentheses. And what number is it going to be? We have one and two and three and what comes next? Four. So we're going to type four and. And that is the counting for line seven there, the measure of music that we have. Now let's count it and clap it. So we're going to turn our metronome on. Hopefully your toe started tapping. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. The toe has to go the whole time. If one toe gets tired, switch feet. You got two of them. Get our hands ready to go. I'll clap it and count it first. I want you to watch and listen and follow along the music with your eyes. Here I go. Down, up, down, up, ready, go. One and two and three and four and stop. So notice when we had a rest, my hands were apart, and I did my whisper count. When we had a note, I clapped, and I said it out loud. Do it with me. Tap in your toe, down, up, down, up, here we go. One and two and three and four and stop. Let's do it again. Down, up, down, up, here we go. One and two and three and four and stop. Good job. If you need to practice that again, pause, rewind, and do it again. We're going to move to the next one, line eight. We're going to write in our counts first. We're going to start in the first yellow text box. Click so that your text box pops up, and then let's look at what symbol we have above the yellow box. We have a quarter note, so that's one in the second um, box, we have a symbol above. It is a quarter rest. So we're going to start with our open parentheses, shift nine, two and, because two comes after one, and then close parentheses, shift zero. Next one, next symbol, hey, it's another quarter rest. So open parentheses, what number comes after two? Three. So we're going to type three and, and then close our parentheses. That tells us that B3 is another rest. And then the fourth text box, look at the symbol up above it. We have a quarter note. So no parentheses, and it's going to be which count? What comes after three? That's right, four. So we're going to type four and. So again, we have the same one and two and three and four and. But what changes is where we have a note and where we have a silence. And you have to be very careful to read the music so you can see when that happens. Let's count it and clap it together. I'll do it first, you watch. Down, up, down, up, here I go. One and two and three and four and stop. Not too bad, do it with me, tap your toe. Down, up, down, up, here we go. One and two and three and four and stop. Not bad, do it again. Down, up, down, up, here we go. One and two and three and four and stop. Moving on down the page. Now the next thing we get to is a dude who's like, hmm? And then it says, what is that? Do you know what the name of this rest is? And then you've got your blue arrow that's pointing to yet another new symbol. So this is a rest, which means it's going to be silence. And you can see it looks very different from the other rest that we learned, which was the quarter rest. So this is not a quarter rest. You may have seen this before in your elementary music classes. You may even remember what it's called. But if you don't, 
no big deal. I'm getting ready to tell you. So make sure you click in the yellow box next to the symbol and, and next to where it says rest. And you're going to type whole, W-H-O-L-E. This symbol is a whole rest. <clears throat> Excuse me. And it's called a whole rest, and it takes up the whole measure when we're in 4-4 four, four time signature. A whole rest gets four beats of silence. So it takes up the whole measure in 4-4 four, four time because each measure gets four beats. So if we're looking at this measure, scroll down a little bit, well, where the blue arrow is pointing, you've got more yellow boxes underneath, so we need to click on the first one and we're gonna write in our counts. <clears throat> now this one's a little bit different because is it, it is a rest that takes up the whole measure. So we're gonna start off with our open parentheses, um, shift nine on your keyboard, and then we're gonna type the first number. What number comes first in a measure? Always one. So we've got one and. And instead of closing the parentheses, I'm just going to go to the next box because the rest takes up the whole measure. So what comes after one and, two and, and then I'm going to go to the third box, three and, and then the fourth box is four and. Then I'm going to type my closed parentheses, shift zero. So now, the way we've written it, it shows us that all four beats are silence. So it's one and two and three and four and. And when we clap it and count it, it goes like this. One and two and three and four and stop. Because the whole measure is silence. You don't clap at all. Let's go to the next measure, the next text box. I like to just kind of continue from the previous one and use my space bar, but you can put a separate text box if you want. It's up to you. So we're going to the next measure. Remember whenever we go across a bar line, that takes us to the next measure, and we start over again counting at one. So I just told you what the answer is. What we're going to write in the box below that symbol is going to be one and and it's going to be with no parentheses because that is a quarter note. It's going to be sound. Go to the second yellow box. Look at the symbol above it. There's another quarter note. So we're going to type two and because two comes after one. And then we have our third yellow box in the measure. Look above it. That symbol is a quarter note. So we're going to type three and because three comes after two. And then we're going to go to the last box in the measure. Look at the symbol above. That's a quarter rest. So we're going to start off with our open parentheses, shift nine. And what are we going to type? Four and, because four comes after three. And then our closed parentheses, shift zero. And that's the measure. We got another bar line. When we go to the next measure, we start all over again at one. It's a note, so it's one and. Second box is another note, so it's two and. Third box, that's a rest, parentheses, three and. Fourth box, there's a note, so it's four and. I know I'm going through this kind of quickly, but it's pretty much what we've already done, just all in one line. So now we're gonna cross the bar line, go into the next measure, so we're gonna start again with one and, and it's a quarter note, so no parentheses. And we have in, in the second box, the symbol above is a quarter rest. So we're gonna do our shift nine open parentheses, two and, and then shift zero close parentheses. And then our third box, that's a quarter note, and it's three and. And then our last box is another quarter note, and it's four and. So now we have counts written in for all four measures. <clears throat> Let's turn our metronome on. I'm going to count and clap it for you. I would like for you to listen and follow along with your eyes. 
follow along in the music. I'm trying to get my camera center there. Here we go. My toe is tapping to the beat. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. My toe goes the whole time. The toe's got to go. Follow along with me. Down, up, down, up. Here I go. One and two and three and four and 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 stop. And that brings us to the end. Oh, now all of a sudden it gets a little tricky because we have multiple measures. Do it again. You follow along, I clap and count. Down, up, down, up, here I go. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and, one and, two and, three and, four and stop. Can you do it with me? Try. Get your toe tapping. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Toe goes the whole time. Get your clappers up. Eyes following the music. Here we go. Down, up, down, up. Here we go. One and two and three and four and one and two, three and four and one and two and three and four and one. One and two and three and four and stop. How did you do? Did you get a little lost? That's okay. Let's do it again from the beginning. Like last time, only better. Here we go. Tap your toe. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Here we go. One and two and three and four. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and stop. Was that time a little bit better? I made a mistake. Did you notice? I did. I think we need to do it again. Hopefully yours was a little bit better. Hopefully this time is even better. Tap on your toe. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Keep your toe going, get your clappers up. Down, up, down, up, here we go. One and two and three and four and 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 stop. Hopefully you got better that time through. If you need to practice that a few more times, go ahead, pause the video, rewind it a little bit, and do it again. Now that brings us to the end of our exercise learning um, quarter notes. It also included quarter rest and a whole rest. So now you're responsible when you see those symbols to know what it's called and how many beats it gets. So our quarter note, one beat of sound. Our quarter rest, one beat of silence. Our whole rest, four beats of silence. Watch this video as many times as you need to, to be able to clap and count all of that correctly. Before you are completely done with this lesson, you have one more thing to do. Once all of the yellow boxes are complete, you have answers or something typed in all of the yellow boxes, you're going to go back to Google Classroom, go to the Counting Lesson 1 assignment, and click Turn In.